Hi, this is Kurt with Traverse Tool Company. Today we're going to talk about work stops that you'd use in a lathe. A work stop will allow you to increase productivity in a few different ways. One thing is when you're using a work stop and you have multiple pieces that you have the same operation you need to do on each piece, you can take one out and put another one in and it goes right back in the same place. Or if you have one piece you need to make, but you need to take it out, take some measurements on it or do something like that and then put it back in, guaranteeing it goes back in the same place, a work stop allows you to do that as well. Another way that a work stop can benefit the operator is if you're using a work stop and you have heavy cuts that you're taking, uh, moving towards the chuck or the collet, a work stop will prevent the workpiece from sliding into the chuck or collet. This work stop kit from Edge Technologies is our best selling and it's the most versatile. One of the things that makes this work stop kit so versatile is the 10 sets of parallels that come with it and also the plugs that keep it centered in the chuck. You have a variety of diameters so regardless of the size of the hole in your chuck you'll find one that'll fit at least closely anyway. It doesn't have to be a tight fit. What keeps this work stop in place is these three magnets that hold it right onto the lathe chuck. A more economical option is this three-piece set from OTMT. These also have very strong magnets in them to hold them right into the chuck. This kit comes in three different thicknesses. They're all made out of aluminum though, so if you need it to be a little bit more versatile, if one is just a little bit too thick, it's very easy to machine it down. If you need a work stop for a 5C collet, check out these options from the TTC brand. Here's our most economical and most popular collet stop. The way these work is you can screw the work stop in this direction or in the other direction to give it a completely different length. If you screw it in from this way, you put the lock nut on, Get the distance where you want it and it screws right into the back of the collet. And there's your work stop. If you have a workpiece that's so long that it goes all the way through the collet, this extension might be just the answer for you. Depending on how you put the stop rod in there, you could have the workpiece just coming out a little bit or all the way deep into the work stop. Everything we've been talking about so far requires that the inside of the 5C collet have threads in it. If yours doesn't have threads, it's very rare, but some don't, you can still use this kind of a work stop that clamps to the inside diameter of a smooth bore. This kit comes with four different tips. Each one of them screws into the end of the stop, and the way it works is you drop the stop into the collet, put a wrench on one side, And when you tighten it up, it holds it right in there. One of the nice things about this set is that one of the stops is spring-loaded. So when this stop with this tip is inserted into the collet, this is spring-loaded, so it'll eject the workpiece so if you have something very close to the surface of the collet and you can't get your fingers on there to pull it out when you're finished working on it, if you use this stop, it'll pop it right out of there for you. Thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. I hope it was interesting to you. hope it answered some questions about what lathes work stops are, how they work, and what options are available. If you still have some questions about it, please let us know.